Now so, let's have a look at producing simple plots in MATLAB. For this, we will be using an example on the land speed record. So to start, let's create a new M file and call it land speed records. So, we'll just get those all nicely saved. So let's go new, script, and we can save this as land speed record. save that. So in here we are going to create two row vectors, the years and speed records. So we can start by typing in the following and keeping with full annotation as we mentioned earlier since that is incredibly important and you will be assessed on that in your assignment. So let's do some simple annotation for this. So we want to create data vectors And we want the first one to be for the year of all the different land speed records. So we'll create a nice row of those. So the first one is 1898. Second is 1906. So that is 1920. Followed by 1928. And 1933, there's quite a few of these. And 1938, and 1947, and 1963. Now we find for a little while they had quite a few of them, so 1964, 1965. And then a little bit further on, we have 1970, 1983, and then finally 1997. And if you remember previously, we used semicolon so that these numbers will not be produced when the file is run, so we'll add one of those in. Then the next one is the speed records in MOS per hour. And those start at mere 39. That was back in, 19, in 1898, so that's understandable. Then it jumps to 128, 155, 208, 272, 358, 394. 407, 537, getting higher, 601, 622, 633, and then finally our most recent land speed record of 763 miles per hour. And now, once again, we add the semicolon. And now next, we need to define the script to create the graphs. So once again, we will want to use sufficient annotation to make sure that we understand the code at a glance when looking back. So we'll start by making a bar graph. So we want to put a bar graph. Now, since we'll be making multiple graphs, we want to make sure that we label our figures and have them going in an order that you'll understand, since if we don't label figures, then we will override the previous one. So in order to keep a lot of them, we will call this one figure one. And then we want to create bar graph. So we type in bar, followed by what we want on the x-axis, which is the year. change up to years, years to year to make it a bit easier. 
we need them to match. Then the y-axis, which is speed records. In miles per hour. And that should be fine. So if we save this, we can then run this, produce a graph. Now, good little bit of troubleshooting here. So if you do anything wrong, like in this case, use too many spaces, you will be told. So if you ever have any issues, best thing to do is look at exactly where you've gone wrong and think about it logically, because you might have used a comma instead of a full stop or anything like that. So let's try running it again this time. If we save that, it should be all right. Hmm. Because it doesn't have any spaces, no? Hmm. Ah, oh, yes, it is case sensitive, isn't it? And there we have it. Map doesn't matter how many times you use it, if you use the wrong case, it won't run. So, somewhere, there we have it, is our graph. Now let's try and expand that so we can see it a bit better. And you can see how many jumps we made in a very short period of time in the 60s. And we currently have, at the very best, the Thrust SSC with 763 miles per hour. Hopefully that figure should be beaten very soon by the Bloodhound, which should be reaching 1,000 miles per hour, which our very own Dr. Ben Evans, along with others at Swansea University, have been working on and will be making history with. But back to the plots. So we can close that up and down now. When creating plots, it's always good practice and check the script over. So I think I've given you a perfect example here. Make sure your figures are lower cased, otherwise MATLAB won't like you. Make sure you haven't got any excess spaces or it won't run. And always just be very vigilant in checking your script over. Let's try a new one and this time bear that in mind. So let's make plot two and that can be a line graph. So if we want a line graph we do little reminder for ourselves, so plot 2, we want that to be a line graph, and that could be figure 2 so we don't overwrite it, keeping it lowercase, and no spaces, remember no spaces and case sensitive, and then that can be commanded by typing plot then the x and y axis, so just to save myself time. However, if this goes in the wrong place, it will not run. But that has no spaces, so that should be fine. Now, let's put a semicolon on here so we don't have both of them running. Save that, and with any luck it should run. And here you go. Exact same data, except with a nice line plot showing the ever increasing land speed record which should be a bit further off the chart very very soon. So we close that down. Let's try another one. So plot three. Let's try and stay consistent. And that can be the scatter graph. which will be figure three. And for that we type in scatter. Then once again, the x and y axis, which I'm going to be lazy for again. Make sure it's right up and close, no spaces. Put a semicolon on here as well. Save it. 
and run. There we go, lovely little scatter graph. Then let's have a look at one more. So if we want to plot stem graph, let's be a little more efficient again. this to stem. So plot number four, we will have a stem graph. Yes, with MATLAB, always find a way to make it quicker, easier, and ensure accuracy. So for that we type in stem. And if we run that one, make sure you save it. So you can see the stars there, so it's not saved get this and there you have it so that are, those are four different types of graphs you can produce very quickly and easily with MATLAB as long as you ensure you are using the very 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 correct annotation okay and what's a graph without axes and titles so let's add some of those to plot number four So if we add in some more annotation, we want to create, first of all, an x-axis label. And to do that, we type in x-label. Once again, it's case-sensitive, so make sure it's all lowercase and no spaces. And then yeah, we want to put in the string, and the string since MATLAB understands it in terms of mathematical things, a string is actually a string of words rather than numbers. And you put those in between your apostrophes and we want to call this years. So years. And close apostrophes. And then to put in the y-axis, we give it a little reminder, so create axis labels and y x so y label and we want to call that the minimum oh no yes the minimum speed no maximum speed sorry And since this is a label, you are allowed spaces. And we'll have that in MOS per hour. Then, and the apostrophes to show the string is finished. And then the brackets. And then let's also add a title. So we want to create a title. And for that, we type in title also for lowercase brackets apostrophe and then whatever you want to call it so land speed record by year and there we have it so if we save that let's see if this runs and there we have it. Here you have the graph which is fully annotated. Additionally, if you want some grid lines, you can also type in the following. So let's get rid of these again. So if we want grid lines, you can either type grid on to get large grid lines. So let's show this. So grid on save that and run it. Here you go, we have the large grid lines. But if you wanted smaller ones, you could just type in grid minor. So slightly more accurate look at it. So we'll save that. And if we run that, there we have it. We have lots of grid lines. Perfect. 
if we aren't particularly fond of colour or want to customise our graphs to make them look a bit better we can add on colour or different lines or marker types and there are a variety of different commands that you can add to the end of the string which are highlighted in the handbook so if we wanted to create a plot uh, let's go for let's stick with the stem graph and if we wanted let's say to have red dashes instead we would at the end of the string add in apostrophes the command we want so r stands for red and then a double dash stands for dashes there are different letters for different colors and different symbols for different things but we'll go with that for now and if we save that we should now change the color of it so there you have it and we've got it with red dashes but say we don't want red dashes let's go for green stars instead uh, green is represented by a G and let's have some stars instead so that's just the star symbol which you use for multiplication and let's save that and run the file. And there you have it, green and stars. And you can change that to however you want. This is quite useful if you want to customize your plots for your assignment, so have a play with that. On the other hand, sticking with this plot, if we only wanted to plot the first six land speed records out of a list, we could then add in brackets the indices which we wanted to plot after the name of the appropriate axes, so the x and y axes, and we can add that in here. So we'll leave it with green stars or and after year we add indices one to six and we do the same for the y axis. So we want one to six. Then, if we make sure to save that, that should run nicely. There you have it. We only have the first six. And I believe that brings us to a close on this video of using M files and plotting with MATLAB. The next video will be looking at loop statements. Thank you for listening.